Hi everybody, Brian here with the Witch Doctor uh, Practical Advanced Practical Shooting Series. Um, I have a test here that uh, just completed uh, today looking at uh, the trim length of the case. So how, how much do you trim your, your piece of brass? Um, and is it important to trim it to a certain level? Is it important to have um, relatively uniform trim length across your cases? Those kind of questions. Uh, I know I've been in matches before where, you know, I notice <laughs> possibly a, a, a handful of brass that I, you know, fired more than others and it's growing a little more than others. How important is it that I trim the case length to be uniform at that point? Do I have time to? All kinds of considerations um, in, in my mind at, at that point. So just wanted to do a test to see how important is it. Um, I used a 6 PPC uh, for this test. Um, that's a standard cartridge I use for uh, short range bench rest competition. I took uh, 10 cases sized at 1.505, uh, another 10 sized at 1.500, and another 10 sized at 1.495. Um, I fired five shot groups for each of those. Um, and uh, as you can see here, um, this is the five shot group for 1.505. And it measured about 0 0.326. Uh, 3368 was the average velocity of the five shots. Um, 1.50. Uh, 0.430 was the size of the group here. However, uh, taking out that flyer uh, brings it down to a 0.133. Um, that flyer, I'm not sure how to explain it. Um, I, I did not have my up-down flags, um, and there was a little bit of wind, so I suspect that there may have been um, some sort of updraft or something that pushed it out. Um, I'm not sure. But um, with it, it, it was a pretty big group. Without it, it was a real good group. Um, at 1.495, uh, the group there was 0 0.418. Again, there was one that was off to the right there. Um, without that one, it would have shrunk the group to about a 0 0.2. So um, velocities, 3374 on that one, 3368 here. Uh, basically, it seems like with velocity, there really is no effect. Um, trim length doesn't really affect velocity. Um, you know, there's lots of discussion about trim length and how it grips the bearing surface, how much grip is necessary, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to sort of put all that to the test and see what I get. Um, on this one over here, I went ahead and actually took three cases, uh, one that was trimmed at uh, 1.505, one that was trimmed at 1.5, and then one that was trimmed at 1.495, shot them in that sequence. Um, so this is only a three-shot group here. All the rest of them are only three-shot groups, but that three-shot group was a 0 0.190. Um, I took a different sequence here, uh, took 0, 0.95 and 0, 0.5, shot three of those, got a 0 0.287, and did another different sequence, did a 95, 0, 0.05, 0, 0, shot a 0 0.205. And then I did a random sequence. I just grabbed three cases, swirled them around in my hat, and just grabbed one out of random and shot a 0.402, lots of vertical on that one. Um, and another random three-shot group was 2.54. Um, the velocities on all of these are just about the same. Um, I'm not even going to statistically analyze them because I can tell you from you know, 20 years of doing statistics that there's going to be no difference in the velocity. So trim length in between the lengths of 1.505 down to 1.495 don't seem to affect velocity whatsoever as far as I can tell here. Um, however, with the groups, um, it's hard to determine, especially with this one flyer. Um, if I remove that, though, uh, it becomes clear that trimming at 1.500 is probably the ideal trim length. Um, and then looking at these in terms of sort of taking different trim lengths and shooting them in the same group, um, there, there could be point of impact changes ever so slightly there. Um, definitely in the random groups, uh, especially this one, the group really opened up quite a bit. There was no condition that could explain this. The wind really died down 
considerably when I shot this. So I can't explain this uh, as any kind of flyer due to up or down drafts or anything like that. I think this was just a, a legitimate large group. Um, this one also 0.254 was a little bit larger um, than let's say 0.205 or 0 0.190. So um, hard to conclude much from this um, because primarily because of that flyer. If that flyer wasn't there, I think it would be a solid conclusion that 1.500 is a really good trim length and that you should probably trim uniformly to that. Um, I'm not going to make that conclusion quite yet. Um, I am interested in hearing what you people have experienced with trim length um, and um, whether you think this may be an ideal trim length or not. Um, of course, I think it's just a generally a good idea to have uniform trim length, um, especially if you find a trim length that is ideal, which I'm kind of, you know, leaning towards 1.500, but not going to definitely conclude based on this test. Um, so I do look forward to your comments on this video uh, and suggestions, um, whether it be what has been your ideal trim length or what has been your experience in shooting cases into the same group at with variable trim lengths. So I look forward to hearing from you and learning from you. Um, please, pl please comment uh, on the YouTube. Also, please subscribe, like, and share with people who can provide good comments and constructive feedback about these tests. Um, so at this point, I'm fairly inconclusive about this, but I am leaning towards 1.500 being sort of an ideal trim length. Um, this does have implications, you know, um, Lapua cases generally come in at, you know, 1.495, 1.497, and then they take quite a while to grow. <laughs> That's been my experience, at least. Uh, Norma cases, which is actually my preferred case, um, they usually come at 1.500 or above. Um, in fact, in many of them, I get 1.510s. Uh, I actually trim them down to one point. Uh, 497 um, and before I do fire forming uh, because with that fire forming process they actually grow, grow quite a bit up to about seven or eight thousandths in fact sometimes so um, anyway um, I think what I'll do at this point with no comments and not not you know having any feedback from other shooters I'll just go ahead and make 1.500 kind of my ideal range um, look forward to hearing back from you about this though thank you